वेलकम एवरीबॉडी सो मैनी ऑफ यू आस मी टू मेक एन ए अलेवन डिवाइस डाउनग्रेड गाइड बट अनफॉर्चुनेटली आई एम अनएबल टू एक्वायर एन ए अलेवन डिवाइस विद सेव्ड ब्लॉब्स सो आई थाट आई वुड मेक अ स्टेप बाय स्टेप प्रॉपर हेल्पिंग गाइड फॉर यू ऑल दैट यू कैन फॉलो एंड डाउनग्रेड फ्राम आई ओस फिफ्टीन टू फोर्टीन और एनी हायर वर्जन ऑफ आई ओस फिफ्टीन to a lower version of iOS 15 which is now unsigned first of all you have to connect your device with iTunes on windows double click the serial number and you will get the ECI id just right click it copy it and paste it somewhere because we will be needing it later next you have to boot into linux you can boot into linux without installing it using your usb flash drive you can also check out a9 and a10 complete full downgrade guides from the description and downgrade your a9 and a10 devices easily now when you are on linux first thing that you will need is ipon dfu for a11 devices just go to this github page you will find all the links in a text file in the description i will check out the compatibility for you so it supports a11 meaning iPhone 10, iPhone 8 and 8 plus scroll up now simply click code now click download zip once done you have to just open this website select your device now select your model from here you will download the IPSW for the firmware you want to go to For example, you want to downgrade to 14.8. Just click it. Scroll down and download this IPSW to your computer. Next big thing is the blobs. Just go to the TSS Saver website. Click Retrieve. You will have the ECI ID from iTunes in step one. Just copy it. and paste it in the retrieve section click submit open link now you will see all the blobs that you have saved when these versions were signed for example you want to go to 14.8 just select it and download one of these blobs once done you will need future restore gui version just go to this github page scroll down you will see releases just click scroll down and for your linux download this dev file to your computer once done you have all these files you will have the blob you will have the future restore gui you will have the ipsw you want to go to and ipon tfu for a11 devices First of all just right click the iPhone DFU for A11 extract here just open the folder now put your device in DFU mode and connect it to your computer then right click open terminal here now inside this terminal type sudo python2 ipon dfu hyphen p hyphen hyphen patch and then press enter now it will patch the boot rom and it will patch the signature check now when you run this command and everything is successfully done you will see this message boot rom patched you can now load unsigned firmware and debug the next boot stages now when you are done with it you can close out of this terminal go back now we will install future restore gui just right click open a new terminal now type here sudo dpkg hyphen i and then drag this dev file onto the terminal press enter Now put your password for your Linux. This will install Future Restore GUI on Linux. Now you can close out of it also. Now you have to run Future Restore GUI.
when future restore gui is open click on settings and make sure future restore beta is selected here now simply click download future restore it will now download the latest future restore binary to your computer you will see this message script detected because the latest version of future restore now includes linux underscore fix dot sh that can fix errors on your linux os while running future restore so if you are getting errors like your device is not detected and all that you can simply click run as root and it will fix all your problems one thing that i found out that you can fix all your errors on future restore by simply installing checkrain on your linux operating system simply use these commands and install checkrain and it will install all the required files for future restore now simply click select blob file and select the blob file now click select target IPSW. Now click the IPSW you want to downgrade to. Once done, simply go to options. In stage 1, you have to select pawn restore and set device nonce. Once done, you can simply click next and click start future restore now guys when stage one is done your device nonce will be set to your blob you can see it on your screen successfully set nonce generator so and so once stage one is complete simply go again to options and uncheck set device nonce and pawn restore click next again and now click start future restore now if everything goes well with your device and future restore your device will downgrade to the version you have selected with your blob you can see it on your screen restore finished future restore process ended done restoring succeeded i hope i made this guide as easy as possible if you still have questions you can always ask in the comments section and i will help you I will see you in a new video. Goodbye.